um, Billy happened to re be recording upstairs in Studio C and Scandal was downstairs in Studio A. And so, um, yeah, we were, you know, halfway through the, the Scandal record when I, you know, uh, Steve and Billy happened to be hanging out in the lobby downstairs and heard me through the door and they were having trouble uh, finding the right drummer to play on, on the record. So uh, they asked me to come up and I, for the next two or three months, I was doing both records at the same time. Wow. Yeah, the Rebel Yellow record and the Warrior record. I was doing, you know, I take a break, I do a track or two with Scandal downstairs, you know, grab my pink snare drum, get on the elevator, go upstairs. And, uh, you know, there was two kits, you know, set up. So I was, you know, it was, it was convenient. And was there any was there any animosity at that time like was no, not at all no oh, cool. no no not at all no oh. no no man i was doing it on a lunch break or something yeah you yeah, know? yeah yeah i mean it was my time it, no nobody knew anybody what was going on you know yeah um so yeah that went on for a couple of months and um the the, the funny part is that both records were released the same year Wow. 1984, but Rebel Yell came out and then the Warrior album came out and they were both on the charts. So I, I was, you know, in my, I'd be in my car and I'd turn on the radio and nine out of 10 times I would hear either Rebel Yell or I'd hear the Warrior in the, in the first five minutes of my car, you know? So yeah. I knew I was sitting pretty, pretty good back then. And, you know, yeah, I yeah. was in the driver's seat for once.